Good evening, everyone, and a warm uh, welcome uh, from me. My name is uh, Roger Kane. I'm the Dean of the School of Advanced Study in the University of London. A welcome to you all to the school, and a particularly warm welcome, of course, to our uh, uh, particular guest this evening, Professor Brian Fernihoe, about whom you will be hearing a little more in a few moments from uh, Dr. Paul Archbold, who's the director of our Institute of Musical Research in the school here. Let me just tell you a little bit about the School of Advanced Study and what we do uh, to provide some context for uh, this evening's uh, event. Um, the school uh, is uh, one of the family of higher education institutions that form uh, the Federal University of London. Uh, the University of London has its 18 colleges, and it has uh, the School of Advanced Study and the University's uh, International Academy for Distance Learning. Uh, so we uh, in the school are one of 150 or so higher education institutions uh, in the United Kingdom. Um, we, uh, like they, uh, uh, undertake teaching. Uh, our teaching, though, is uh, entirely postgraduate. Uh, we also, of course, uh, like almost all uh, higher education institutions in the United Kingdom, uh, conduct research. But it is not uh, for either our teaching or our research that we receive uh, funding from the United Kingdom government. We receive uh, funding uh, for uh, one of the unique things that we do, uh, which is to support and facilitate and promote uh, the research of the humanities, broadly defined, uh, uh, in the United Kingdom. So how do we do this? Well, we do it in a number of ways. Uh, we have some tremendous uh, libraries, which uh, had something like 200,000 uh, visits uh, last year, as well as the physical resources of books and manuscripts and uh, 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 other incunabula. We also have uh, digital platforms. Um, digital platforms which last year received 21 million uh, visits and uh, right up at the top of uh, that scale uh, was uh, the Institute of Musical Research which contributes uh, very considerably uh, to our uh, iTunes U uh, podcast activities. We convene uh, research networks and collaborations. Uh, we have about 300 of these with uh, uh, 17,000 uh, partners uh, and amongst them is another one of the uh, Institute of Musical Research's endeavours, uh, the Francophone uh, Music Network. We convene conferences, uh, we run seminars. Last year there were 60,000 participants in our conference and seminar programmes uh, covering something like 2,200 uh, individual events. We train research students, uh, uh, 3,800 UK postgraduate research students benefited uh, uh, last year from our research training. Again, the Institute of Musical Research contributes uh, to that. And we also offer fellowships to enable people to come uh, to visit and to work and to research and to talk uh, um, amongst us. Uh, here in uh, Bloomsbury. 162 uh, visiting uh, fellows last year. And right at the top of our tree of the hierarchy, if you like, of our fellowships uh, is uh, a pair of Seng T. Lee uh, research fellowships. Mr. S. T. Lee uh, was a, is a Singaporean uh, businessman, a philanthropist who supports uh, uh, higher education research uh, in the United Kingdom in a number of ways and he contributed an endowment uh, to the School of Advanced Study to enable us to offer uh, two fellowships a year, uh, one of which uh, this year we are very proud to have been able uh, to offer uh, to Professor uh, Brian Fernihoe. And I'm now going to pass uh, the microphone to Dr Paul Archbold, the Director of the Institute of Musical Research who I hope will carry on seamlessly from me and introduce 
Brian, and also to uh, say uh, some words of thanks to the many people who have contributed to uh, make this evening what I'm sure it is going to be. So, Paul, please. Thank you very much. Many people here will know that there is only one Nobel Prize for the humanities, the Nobel Prize for Literature. In 1972, the Ernst von Siemens Foundation established a substantial prize to be awarded to a scholar, performer or composer who has made an outstanding contribution to music, and it has since become known as the Nobel Prize for Music. And tonight we have two distinguished Ernst von Siemens laureates, Professor Brian Fernihoe and also the Alditi Quartet. This evening celebrates a series of anniversaries. Professor Brian Fernihoe's 70th birthday, Irvin Arditi's 60th year, and soon the 40th anniversary of the first concert of the Arditi Quartet. And I've discovered that next year is Professor Colin Blakemore's 70th as well. Tonight's concert marks a long productive artistic relationship between Brian Fernihoe and the Arditi Quartet. Fernihoe's second string quartet was premiered by the Arditi Quartet in 1980 and the sixth in 2010. During this residency, Professor Fernihoe has just completed a new work to mark the Arditi Quartet's 40th anniversary, Salentium. This residency has brought together many institutions, foundations and individuals, and I wish to extend thanks to everyone who has helped to organise such a rich diversity of events. Firstly, Professor Roger Kane and the School of Advanced Study for awarding a ST Lee Visiting Professorial Fellowship to Professor Brian Fernihoe. Secondly, to Graham McKenzie, whose innovative programming at the Huddersfield Contemporary Music Festival continues to celebrate the best of new music from across the world. This year, the festival included outstanding performances of Fernihoe's works by Ensemble Linnea, Cato di Ottima, Christopher Redgate and Nicholas Hodges all of which will be heard or have been heard or will be heard soon on BBC Radio 3. For these concerts, I also wish to extend my thanks to Institute Ramon Lull, Diophonique, the University of Huddersfield and the Arts Council of England. Fernie Ho's new work, Schatten aus Wasser und Stein, for quarter tone oboe and string quartet, could not have been envisaged without Christopher Redgate's innovative project to build a new oboe for the 21st century and therefore the financial support of the Royal Academy of Music, the Arts and Humanities Research Council, and the oboe maker, Howarths. I wish to thank the Royal Northern College of Music for hosting and supporting the launch of Lois Fitch's new monograph study of Fernihoe's life and works, copies of which um, are on order from December. And this event also included the stunning performance of Unity Capsule by Richard Craig. I wish to thank the HRC Research Centre for Musical Performance as Creative Practice for supporting the research training event performing complex contemporary music a couple of weeks ago, together with Neil Hyde of the Royal Academy of Music and Roger Redgate of Goldsmiths, University of London. Earlier, I mentioned the Ernst von Siemens Foundation, which has also supported the Institute of Musical Research with many grants to hold composition workshops for early career composers here, and to make documentaries exploring the interactions between composers and contemporary performers. I would also like to thank the Higher Education Academy for several grants to create associated pedagogical material. Finally, I wish to thank the Hinrichsen Foundation and the Hepner Foundation for supporting this evening's concert. So, to introduce tonight's speakers. Brian Fernihoe, currently William H. Bonsall Professor at Stanford University, is one of the most original and influential composers in contemporary music. His work evokes a compressed musical world of dislocated events, colliding pulses and shimmering textures. His highly elaborate notational practice invites performers constantly to reassess and question their relationship to the text. For some five decades he has continuously engaged with and provoked the debate to define a new artistic aesthetic for contemporary music, whether as creator, thinker, writer or teacher, in Europe and the US. His work encompasses a wide range of forms, from the orchestral works La Terre et Homme, Plotzlikeit and the opera Shadow Time, to the ensemble works in Chipitz, La Chute Car and Terrain, to the virtuoso solo works Unity Capsule and Sichtbare Farben, and the Time and Motion Study series. 
The string quartet is central to his output, with, four, with, with six major quartets and several smaller works. Professor Colin Blakemore is a distinguished neuroscientist and director of the Centre for the Senses at the Institute of Philosophy. He is renowned as a vision scientist and is a fellow of the Royal Society and a former chief executive of the Medical Research Council. Professor Blakemore's work on neuroplasticity has wide implications for learning and memory, and I'm delighted that he was enthusiastic to speak with Brian Fernie. Please can we welcome Professor Brian Fernie and Professor Colin Blakemore.